we know the Seahawks have a terrible defense. We watched Kirk Cousins light him up like he was freaking Peyton Manning in his prime last week. Can Jimmy do that? I mean, it's just Kirk Cousins. You know, you know, Kyle's probably watching the film like all oh, Kirk Cousins, just like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey guys, look what Kirk, look, check this out. Look, look, I told look. you guys, I told you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so do you think Jimmy can do that? Do the Niners have, I mean, they have the, they have Debo. I mean, they have the wide receivers to pull it off. They have the, they have the weapons. I don't think so. They, they, they always start aside from the Detroit game. They start so they start slow. Like you gotta, you gotta play a full, it's full yeah. football game. Not, not 30 minutes, not 40 minutes. They, they need to play an entire football game. Um, and so far, we have it. Even the end of – they didn't do it in Detroit because they, they didn't play the end of the football game. Um, so you have to play the entire football game. And, you know, just doing it for a half isn't, isn't enough. Or at the, end of, at the end of the game, like, it's nice you, you, leave a, you lead a heroic drive. But what about the first – the entire first half? Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. If you played the first half, you wouldn't have put yourself in a position to have to make a heroic. The way I see it, though, is that like what 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 you're taking advantage here of here on the Seahawks defense is their cornerbacks. I mean, their cornerbacks are Trey Flowers and DJ Reed. Like, not great. Kind of like the Niners' yeah. cornerbacks. Um, but that's not what Jimmy does. He doesn't really take advantage of cornerbacks outside the numbers. That's not really what he does. No, it's he not short, and he throws over the middle. So it seems like. The Seahawks are probably going to have a pretty good – they'll just play cover three. Just play cover three, put one guy in the middle of the field, a bunch of guys underneath, and dare him to go long and go outside the numbers, please. And, and you're going to let Jamal Adams do what he loves to do is play, play the line of scrimmage. Let, play it, speed near the line of scrimmage. Yeah, play eight-man boxes. See, here's the thing. The Niners, if they, they have the wide receivers to go throw for throw, big play for big play with the Seahawks, but they don't have the quarterback. So with this quarterback, they're going to have to do like ball control, slow drives, which could work. But I don't know if they have the run game to pull that off right now, right? Like, and it's not it's not that their run game's horrendous. It's that they don't have schematic answers for these five and six man fronts that they're seeing. So, and, and and that's why I'll defend I'll defend Kyle and the uh, Forty ers a little bit as far as like oh they're not taking deep shots. Well, why would you take deep shots when Jimmy can't hit them? He's going to throw a yeah, dog. On, on, they took one Sunday night. Right. How'd that go? So, like, so why would you, why would you put that in the game plan when your quarterback, I mean, if you want, if you want turnovers, you would definitely put that in the game plan. Right. It's like, it's like if you, if you're getting on me as a defensive coordinator for not running man, but I, I'm, I've got like, no corners. Uh, yeah, right. I've got Ryan Allen out there. Like, yeah. You know? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't think they're going to be trying to take advantage of DJ Reed and Trey Flowers. Like they'll take take advantage of them on the, on the digs over the middle, but they're going to get a lot of zone coverage, cover three, and Jimmy's going to have to throw the ball outside at some point. Okay. Yeah, he will. And I don't know if he's going. I don't know if he's going to be able this to- the week they play Trey Lance. Unless Jimmy- they're just going to get smacked without him. If Jimmy gets hurt, they'll play him. But I- Jimmy got hurt last time they played him. Or, you know what Jimmy did the last time he played the Seahawks? Or if the game's just so out of hand. If it's just so out of hand. 11 to 16, 84 yards, zero touchdowns, one interception, left the game early. And that was in Seattle, but there were no fans there. Right. It was a quiet game. You, you know what's interesting about, I was thinking about Seattle, is that Seattle does the same thing with their corners as the 49ers do. Is they, they draft them late and... Look, they're both in the same same position. Because Seattle's been so committed to zone defense for ten years, and now they're like, "Ooh, we got to The thing is, like, you can evolve. you still need good corners for zone defense. Like, like, let's not act like Richard Sherman wasn't a good corner. He was an excellent corner. He was right. a zone. But they, it's like it's like they, they were looking for different traits than the rest of the league at cornerback. So they were able to find like premium talents late in the draft. They're being overlooked. But now a lot of people run this scheme and. The things they're looking for are the things that a lot of other people are looking for. So even those corners go high, higher up in the draft too. So you can't really bargain bin shop at cornerback anymore. You can't. No, but you bargain bin shopping at, at corner like second round. Like that's that's right. That's right. 
like the 45th pick. That's that's yeah, that, that's that's bargain bin bargain bin basement <laughs> shop. 